everyone, welcome to Day in Life, yeah, bro. I'm to one more channel. Today is still March 20th, for it to be a lot for today. So, I was going to continue off from what I was saying. I do have a little bit of cardboard that's blocking this sound coming from the back. If there's going to be any music coming from upstairs, my dad's listening to music. He's not drinking. Uh, he did have a bottle at my uncle's and basically just a bottle, bottle or two, you know, while he's doing his work and stuff, but he's not drinking like crazy. He has a bottle up there and uh, that's it right now. So, so well, I kind of remember trying to see what was going on. Okay, uh, there was about 6 to 12 of us. Um, I, I, that's my guess. I mean, my, my memory's a little bit foggy on that, on the whole details of how many people, you know, like had, took a day or two break. I think it was like a day or two. And, I think we got a day off, I believe. But, um... Yeah, we got a day off. Now, um... What's I was gonna say? Okay. We got the day off. And... While we were gone, I think a day or two, I, like I said, I can't really... The, the whole specifics on that. We were out, we were down, we were uh, off a day off, got a day off, like two days off or something like that. We came back and there was, there was, there was a closed sign there, uh, it wasn't open, there was no car in the driveway and we were wondering what's going on. So, uh, the one employee that, you know, main employee that, you know, opens the doors and locks it, the locks were changed so we're like wondering what's going on maybe you're having a meeting in there or you know we're a little bit too early or wondering you know do you have any work that day and I think that's only one day off and then we realized after the second day we were looking in the window and the pop machine and you know the, the fridge and stuff is all clear the the one wall of all the cigarettes were clear um, everything was cleared out I mean there was no cash machine, nothing. So when we went to the um, the other window and st uh, stuff and looked in there, there was no dishes, no stack of you no know, dishes up and cups and cutlery and stuff and the different things that we could see. So we realized that that boss skipped on on three works of um, back pay. Never heard from him again. Never saw him. And I guess it was bound to happen. I think he, I think his business went under, and then he just, you know, cut his losses and moved his stuff, and then either went into another location or, you know, whatever he done. I don't know. I never seen the guy again. None of us seen that guy again. I guess I, I wasn't really looking that hard. So me being disappointed, you know, I had a few weeks things, and you know, I was. I just started getting some new CDs. Got some new CDs in the mail. I'm gonna pay for that. I'm gonna get a little small stereo thing from my house and some new shoes because the shoes are kind of worn down. Like you wouldn't believe. So me walking around, riding on bike, and these shoes are you know they're done. They I've used these shoes, overused these shoes, and I was on the way to getting that money, waiting for a few weeks. And you know, thinking for that, getting that big pay, you know, three work, weeks worth, and getting some like new clothing or whatever, whatever I and you need to do then. So then I had to look for another job, and then going here and like that, and then I was do some co-op thing, pack or, or uh, building these boxes and putting stuff in boxes and then shipping them out. And I did that for maybe maybe a month, two months. Got bored of that really fast. I'm so boring. So me looking for another money work for about a month and I came to, you know, handing flyers in the cities, like uh, the cities nearby and cities to like 45 minutes to an hour and a half away, different places, business and stuff and nothing, nothing was biting because I didn't have the experience for certain things that I was dropping resumes off to. So I just was waiting and waiting, you know, looking for stuff, looking for stuff, looking for stuff, and uh, like some kind of job. I had no funny, no nothing, and then I am going to the racetrack, thinking, you know, maybe I might find some a job there. Um, 
I dropped the resume before. I didn't think really the the, the so-called boss was um, got my first resume and then you know dropping up second one. And actually got a chance to actually talk to him. And I told him I said you know I'm on an assistant and then I job the job there and doing co-op and assistance and you know certain things and told him about last job, their jobs I did you know trying to do things and me being young and thin and you know want to get in there and get some at work. He was kind of effy because you know there's you know there's three other people too and we he had hiring all four of us. Reason why at the end of the interview and stuff and he was like okay you know we don't really have an experience with this this and that you know a lot of men she goes I got like two or three people for that and you know I don't really need you for that or I need you for maybe uh, mechanical work but you don't have experience in that and even though you did small engine and stuff like that and. I said, okay, well, I'm, uh, my bike has a flat, it's at home, I'm going to walk to my aunt and uncle's and see if I can get a you know, ride back to my house and tell them where, whereabouts. So as I was walking away, he could see the, he could see when I was taking steps to button my shoes, there was no sole left. The, the, the shoes itself were only, they were only on just the, uh, the side edging. And the, the, the sole itself is gone. So I'm walking around. I got no shoes, no money, no nothing. I'm walking on, on gravel and stuff. He said, he goes, hey, wait a minute. Come back here for a minute. He goes, he goes, I, I know your, your resume and stuff. And, you know, you've been, you know, working hard at certain places. And you, know, you don't really have the experience for this and that. And blah, blah, blah. Going to a little thing. He goes, it really hit me in the heart to see somebody walk away and don't have, you know, proper footwear and see that, you know, you're walking around and with those shoes. He goes, I want to give you a pair of shoes because, you know, me, you know, own this racetrack and I'm the owner and I got sponsors and I got a lot of shoes. And I told him what size because uh, we, we were about the same height and, you know, at that time, I think it was wearing like size nine, and I can wear size ten. I mean, that's a little bit loose, and size nine and a half. That's pretty normal. And I just said, uh, I'm only like nine, nine and a half. So he gave me. He said, he goes. He gave, brought me to his like little like a storage area kind of thing, some like side office. And on this one wall here, he had like shirts and pants and pictures and other kind of trinkets and a bunch of different uh, boxes of shoes. He goes, check that wall there to see if you got a good size. Whatever pair of shoes you want, it's yours. So I go to check, you know, certain shoes. I mean, I didn't really care, you know, the style, the comfortability, if it's white or gray or black or red or blue or yellow or green, whatever the color was. I, I think I am going with gray and comfy gray. I don't you know, check the other one two, three of them, and you know, I was curious of seeing their shoes, and some of them were pretty damn good shoes, and they looked like they were expensive, I didn't want to, you know, make it look like I was needy or being greedy or anything like that, and I picked, picked these gray, gray comfy shoes, and man, as soon as I got in those shoes, it felt like comfy and kind of spring, I was like, I was, I was happy to, you know, have more comfortability and not have to be walking on gravel. So he gave, he gave me, he took those shoes, he threw them in the, the big metal uh, bin. He goes, okay, uh, you sure you have you, you know, the shoes that you like and stuff like that? I said, um, yes, yes, I, I do, I do, you know, thank you for the shoes. And he goes, okay, he goes, um, are you busy tomorrow? Uh, I said, no, not really, I'm not really doing anything, just whatever around my dad's house or at my grandfather's is about it he goes okay you come come back tomorrow and we'll see what we can get kind of some kind of work for you to see what you can get you to do i said oh you're gonna hurt me oh cool i said um, i'm not too sure when i'm gonna be able to pay for these shoes and um i think i said to him 
I'm not too sure when I can pay you back for these shoes, but at, uh, probably in time when I do make some money or, you know, when I get the assistance. And he goes, don't worry about it. That is a gift from me to you. You can you can keep those shoes. Don't need to pay me back. Don't need to give me an air pair of shoes. I got lots, and I'm not really that worried about it. He goes, you come back tomorrow, and we'll see what we can do. So I then took a walk away and then went all the way down the street to my aunts and uncles and then, you know, told them what's going on, blah, blah, blah. He goes, oh, cool, you know, this looks like a good place. And by the next day when I did show up in the morning, I think I showed up even earlier than he showed up. Showing that initiative kind of thing. Uh, I showed up at the thing around 7.30. I mean, I should have been there maybe 8 or 8.30 or something like that, I think he said. He goes, oh, well, how long have you been here? I've been here since, since like, 7.30. I left the house and I, I did the best that I could the other day to, you know, double patch on the tire and stuff. And I rode the bike here. I mean, I was always riding on the bike. I was riding bike everywhere. I was do doing the reserve, like the whole reserve one day pretty easy. Because it, was, it, was, it wasn't really that quick then. But me just pedaling my butt and pedaling my butt and pedaling my butt and, you know, used to riding a bike all over, everywhere. So I say, okay, good, good, you know. So then these other three people, uh, you know, that he did, was hiring, that they showed up too. And to, uh, we were in there doing like a clean up garbage to lawn mains and like doing the trimming and lawn of the ditches in the front to doing the family's uh, properties and stuff over there and the outside of the track, inside the track to paint the uh, white walls that, you know, protect the uh, the barriers so that the car didn't go over the hill and flip over because it was basically like a, a big hill so that when they go around circles and stuff like that and to doing a lot of, you know, moving this and, this and that around. But it got to the point where one person would, you know, show up sometimes and then miss days or being late and yeah, fired. One other person would show up, you know, he would be moody, you want to get in a fight with us, you want to do this, this, and that, you want to think he's a boss, you know, he didn't get fired. The other guy was you know, kind of showing, like, drinking and smoking up and stuff, and he goes, I, both of us can't do this, so you don't believe me. So if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me, you share this video, channel my benefit you, my benefit for me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for your video, tell me guys watch it. I'll be all nice days, no night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.